So in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at deploying Laravel to a server using Laravel Envoy. This course covers everything from a completely blank new server, setting it up, setting up a firewall, setting up the server software, all the way through to deploying a Laravel application. The Laravel application I'm going to be deploying is this Laravel boilerplate admin template. And I'll put a link in the description if you want to follow along exactly with this. But feel free to deploy any Laravel application that you wish. The process is the same. It doesn't matter what the application contains. So you're going to need a few things to complete this course. One of those things is a server. So I'm going to be using DigitalOcean for this. And I'll drop a link in the description. Uh, that is an affiliate link, so I'll get a bit of money back for that. And also you'll get a free amount of credit, which usually lasts about three months. So you can try this out completely free without it costing you anything. But obviously you can use any VPS or any server provider. As long as you've got root access to the server, then it doesn't matter who's hosting it. You're also obviously going to need a lot of application to deploy. The application you deploy really doesn't matter. But as stated before, I'm going to be deploying this admin dashboard. We won't actually be doing anything with the dashboard. It's just literally there an example to deploy a Laravel application. Feel free to use any Laravel application you want. You're also going to need SSH for this tutorial. Now, most modern operation systems come with this pre-installed. I can check this by opening your command line and typing SSH space hyphen capital V and it'll bring back the version of SSH you're using. So back in late 2018, Windows did start installing SSH from default. So if you open up your PowerShell and type SSH hyphen capital V, you should see that you already have SSH installed and the commands are exactly the same on Windows as they would be on Linux and Mac. You're also gonna need Git. And you can check that by going to your command line and just simply typing Git in. And if you get output like this listing the commands, then you know you've got it installed. So it does come pre-installed in most Linux desktops. I also believe most Mac operating systems come with it by default. But if not anyway, you can just head over to the Git website. And again, I'll, I'll pop a link in the description for that. And you can download it. There's also a download there for Windows if you've not already got it installed. And a final thing you're going to need is a Git repository that we can push the code up to and pull down from. So I'm going to be using GitLab, but feel free to use anything else like GitHub or Bitbucket, whatever you're more familiar with. If you're not sure and you've never used Git before, then I recommend just going along with GitLab because that's what I use in this video. So you will be able to follow along exactly with what I do. And it's completely free to get started with, so it's not going to cost you anything. So some users requested that I do my videos all in one go instead of separate parts. So once I've uploaded all the separate parts of this tutorial, I'll also upload a further video with them all together in a single video. So if you do prefer that style of video, I'll pop a link in the description for that. But if you prefer it separated down into the individual chunks, then stick with this playlist. So we will be building up a Laravel Envoy deployment script, which will allow us to make changes to our application, push them up to a Git repo, and then with one simple command, it will pull the changes down onto the live server and do a fresh build. And you can see an example of this happening here in this video. This gives us great flexibility when deploying and it also makes sure our deployments are consistent. You're watching the free version now, which will take you right from the beginning of setting up a server all the way through to creating our Envoy deployment script. And I also have a pro version, so if you do want to take this to the next level, I'll introduce you to something called zero downtime deployments. With the setup that we're going to be creating here, it's perfect for most sites, but there is a small amount of downtime when the application is building its front end assets and its back end assets. Things like running migrations on the database, pulling in composer packages, and then for the front end, pulling in NPM packages and doing your SaaS build, for example. So you will have a fully working script at the end of this free video series and the pro version is completely optional. So if you want to help me out a little bit and you want to take your deployment to the next level, then I'll pop a link in the description for the pro version of this course. So with that being said, let's jump into the first video and get started. 